All right, so today we're taking a look at Towers Deck, which seems to be a roguelike tower defense game with mixed with deck building uh, aspects where you start with a set of cars and as the game progresses, you can upgrade them, get more cars, remove certain cars you don't like, and so on. So, uh, I did receive a review copy of this game and uh, so I'm taking a look. There's going to be a big update coming out on the 20th of uh, May. If I'm correct. <laughs> yes. And uh, so yeah, the link will be in the description to the Steam page and you can check it out for yourself. I did play one run of this game prior to this uh, to check it out as well as to see where I could put the camera and stuff like that. And uh, the game looks interesting. So there you go. Let's take a look at it. So the way it works is start with choosing two heroes. Uh, with others uh, unlocked as you play. Basically, after like I finished the first run, I leveled up the... I, I gained some XP for both characters and for the player, I guess. And I guess these things will basically unlock when the player levels up to certain uh, degrees. And then uh, you also get... I guess you get better stuff based on leveling up these characters as well. And uh, so select two heroes, play easy, and then you can start. Alright, so this reminds me a lot of that other uh, roguelike tower defense. I don't remember its name, but it had a like, similar vibe in the, sense that in, in the terms of that the map would expand as you complete each, uh, each wave, basically. And you would be the one choosing where it expands from. Uh, so yeah, quite interesting. Alright, so you have also have research, which uh, is dependent on your character, and then you have like a main research thing. So last time I took this, which makes the ballista... The ballista is the weapon of the castle. Uh, which is a little stronger. But this time I think I'm going to go for this one. Each archer tower increases all towers range, which I think it is very strong. So you select it and it will research after uh, I finish two waves. Alright, so let's start with... Let's just place a tower. So you have here money and mana, which regenerate over time, and then you also have cards that you can, uh, you know, use to regenerate more. So it would have been nice to have more towers, but I guess it's not a lot more I can do. So we'll be dependent, I think, on the ballista mostly. I could also just play a spell, uh, but I don't think I'll need it. And then, like, towers also level up over time. Every time they hit, they get an XP, etc. You can also change what they hit, which is actually very, very nice. I really like this. Alright, so I got more towers, so we'll play this. Play it on in the corners. Uh, it's starting to be low on money. Can't really generate mo more money, but that's fine. Deals double damage to enemies with debuffs. I don't really have any... Well, I guess the the other interesting thing is they deal different damage based on the thing. So all enemies, most enemies, once you get to a certain point, will have the regular health, which is a green one, like a shield, like a yellow shield and a uh, blue shield, which I guess it's interesting because this one, for example, does a lot more damage uh, to the blue shield, to the shields themselves than their normal health. So I didn't place any of these last time, so I think I'll, I'll probably start placing a couple of them myself this time around I might be tempted to use a storm to be honest as you can see for now they only have green health but they will eventually start having other types of health all right a proposal as you sit in the throne room one of the council men approaches you with a new idea that could greatly benefit the kingdom Will you incorporate this idea into your plans, or stick to the established method? Accept the idea, gain a random card, or refuse, I get nothing. Oh, we'll just get a random card. Heat blessing, okay. Alright, so now we unlock this. Uh, we can go around here again, get a spear tower, or get a better archer tower. So I'm going to just get a better archer tower, considering that I am going to go... I am planning on using a lot of towers because of the range thing. Otherwise, you can also get this. So once after a few waves, you get like a choice. Uh, you can go to like a shop or like a forge or stuff. A forge will level up, allow you to level up cards. And they also have like the, the, the graveyard, for example, which allows you to remove cards from your deck. Uh, 
So last time I took this. What about this? Playing spell is cheaper. That is not bad, but in that case I would need more spells, because the ones I have are not too interesting. <laughs> I could just play play them more often without fearing. Or wasting them, I guess. You know what? I'll, I'll choose that. Play more spells. So how much money? I could get a couple more by using a little bit of mana. And we'll just place another tower there. So this is nice, because it's actually a quite decently long start. Uh, let's go. Let's go in a straight line. This increases the uh, damage. It's not really necessary right now. Eventually, they'll start leveling up. There you go. I don't know if it means more damage. All right, so there you go. Daily stroll. We can go to the blacksmith. To the forge, to the market, or just gain coins. Uh, I think for now, I'm just going to go to the forge. Honestly, increasing the tower is very strong, though. What does it change? It makes the normal damage a little bit stronger and increases mostly attack speed. So honestly, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. That sounds pretty good. Restore mana, I don't really care. If it would be the one that gives more uh, money, then yes. But restore mana, I don't really care. I'll keep the money instead. Uh, all right, I do have enough money to play this actually let's play it in the middle here. Why not now? I don't have enough money for anything else. So let's just uh... You know what let's keep expanding this way All right, now we're starting to level up Interesting thing, of course, is for each tower, Archer Tower, now that I place, the range is a lot stronger. As the winter draws near, the mighty snow tribe descend from the mountain, carrying with them the secrets to enduring the hardest cold. Their journey, if successful, promises to transform their people and render the icy wind powerless against them. Will you must your forces to raid the snow tribe, aiming to halt their progress and claim their invaluable supplies as your own? <laughs> Uh, slow don't work on enemies anymore. Okay, I cannot slow enemies anymore. Heal, poor health, and gain a curse. So a curse is a card that appears in the, in the deck, but I can't uh, use. I can always use it in the graveyard, though, to remove it. Uh, heal for four doesn't really matter, honestly. So here, just, I guess there's no benefit to raiding them. Because I don't gain health anymore. But I think I'm going to do it anyways. I can always deal with a curse eventually. So this is a curse. Alright, what is this? Uh, again, a lightning storm. Slow enemies. Alright, so this is actually quite useful. You know what? Let's just get the spell. Actually, no. I want this one. See what enemies are coming. Actually, maybe I want buying cars is cheaper. You know what? Yeah. I'll take buying cards with cheaper and we'll see what we can do for that. Uh, Alright, let's uh, just play this to gain some money. And we can play these cards. And let's expand this way. I mean, I gain mana per second, so technically there's no reason not to use the storm. Hopefully I can get the cemetery. Okay, there you go. Can I get a curse? Yep. Yeah. Alright, get rid of the curse. Perfect. Good thing about the storm, it stays for a couple of turns, which is great. Uh, Alright, so I will probably expand that way now. Let's just place... Oh, I can't. Alright, let's just expand then. Might be tempted to use this. Or another storm. We'll see. So now you can see they started to have like a armor and the different kinds of health. 
So it would be nice to have like a second uh, of these towers, to be honest. I don't have enough money though. Which is definitely a problem. Castleberry still loses attack speed, recover mana, and gain a curse. Mana is not useful anymore. Gain a curse. We're gonna do like the same as before, but I think I'm just gonna dispel it. The idea is they shouldn't get close to the ballista, anyways. Additional card choice in Forge. Additional card choice in get Graveyard. Uh, I need more money though. More positive events appear. Castle is healed by one each wave. Can't buy cards in market anymore. Gain two cards for free. Remove all level zero cards from the market. That's actually quite nice. But you know what? I'm, I'm just going to get this one. Just get a better archer tower. I want to play this one. I don't have the money. So I'm just going to expand a little bit more. I don't know. Let's just do it this way. And I'm just going to play curses if I need to. I mean, uh, spells. Which I will, so I'll do it. Alright, we can play this. Alright. Forge improves cards, market gives me more cards, or just gain coins, but just five coins is nothing though. And I'm gonna go through the market and hope I exactly I could get one of these. Uh, so I get this one because it's cheaper, and I cannot afford this one anyways. Alright. Alright, what is this? Increase arrow damage by 35, not bad. Increase health damage by 25. This is health. I guess the, the difference with this is this is for all towers, while this is only for the arrows. So I think this is still, but it's specifically health damage as well, which is the green why I'm green health. I'm ex, I'm assuming. It would be nice if the health was also color coded. To be to make sure that we understand properly. Uh, do you know, what? give me give me another storm card or a slow. Honestly, give me a slow because this one does double damage to slowed enemies. Well, do you know with debuffs? All right, so let's play that. I do want to play. Uh, this one's just strictly cheaper and stronger. So, but yeah, I want to play another one of these eventually. Alright, uh, let's expand that way. I will definitely play this. And I most likely should play this as well. I have mana, so it's not a big deal. Plus I have a card that gives me mana, which I've never been using it. Agree uh, rate. At the end of the wave, pay one coin for each tower. Okay. Disagree. Gain 15 coins and two curses. Honestly, I need the money right now. Two curses is... Uh, it hurts, but that's fine. Arcane Tires deal triple damage to debuffed enemies. Arcane Tires deal double damage to all enemies, but attack speed is reduced by 20. Still worth it, I think. I'll take it. Right, I need the money, and I want one of these towers, man. I'm not getting them. Uh, Alright, so let's just expand, and we'll have to use spells for sure. Play the snowstorm. But this tower does more damage now. Hopefully we can get a graveyard as well, and get rid of the curses. I got a boss there. Oh, 
think I'm gonna be fine, but just barely. Well, actually, not gonna use it. I should have used it earlier. Ah, it's fine. We're good, though. Alright, let's go to the graveyard. Get rid of that. Come on, give me the other tower. I really need the other tower. I don't have the mana. Alright, one more tower and they're gonna start attacking that way. Can I place it here? I can, okay. No, I was just gonna place it there. We need all the help we can help we can get. And uh let's just keep going. Expand that way. I don't really have I only have this ability right now. Which is uh a little bit a little bit afraid of it. We'll see what happens. Could play the other tower. I think I have to. Yeah, I'm losing too much health. Wave Dane out of 10, though. I don't know what that means exactly. Might lose regardless. I feel like there's just too many enemies piling up. Not sure I'm gonna make it. I might, though. I might. There you go. Okay. Now I win. All right, nice. That was that was actually quite tough. I got a new card. Level up a tower. Okay, not bad. New card for the mage. Low enemies. More waves of luck. Normal difficulty. All right, let's go back to the menu. Let's play again. All right, so we got better. Should we play easy again? I guess. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna play easy because I don't exactly know what this is. This is a new waves. I'm assuming it's just that the, the 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 run is actually longer now. Twelve waves exactly. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna start with this again because it's very strong. And uh, well, let's just start with some towers. With a couple of towers, which should be good. All right, this is a straight line. Not awesome, but that's fine. Uh, let's start with a quick blacksmith, actually. Ooh, proving this, not bad. All right, that's good enough for me. All right, we can play it. 30 coins, that's very, very nice. So let's start with, actually, let's expand first and see where it goes. Okay, it's a straight line. Oh, okay. I see. There's effects as well, I didn't know. Right, anyways, let's just play it there. Alright, so different... Alright, we're starting very well. Increase castle max HP. Okay. Pay 30 coins to upgrade two random cards. Worth it. Okay. Get Spear Tower, Tots, Fire Faster at same enemy. Skip getting the same one as before. Uh, okay, we can use this and we get another one. Alright, let's just keep expanding. It's not very, I'm not very lucky with the, with the draws to be honest. I don't have mana. I'm not gonna use money for mana. All right, I have to actually pay attention to these uh, biome locations, I guess. These styles. Uh, go to the bank. 
Alright. You know what? Increase arrow. I'm going full on arrows. Okay, what does this do? Reduces last but increases also range. Okay. Does more damage overall, just slightly blue is slightly worse. Because it's both range and attack speed. Honestly, I'll do it. And I don't have... Well, I have money for this one, actually. What does this one do? Uh, more of the other damage. But reduces attack speed. That's still fine. Alright, keep going. It's still in a straight line, though. <laughs> that is... Unlucky. You want to have curves so that... You know, it, like towers don't only don't only have this area they can attack to, but like more, you know, more range overall. This is a quite funny. The spell cast ability still loses that speed. Recover mana, gain a curse. Honestly, I'll do that. I'd rather gain a curse than uh, make my belief step worse. At this point. I can only play one card. Play it there. Oh, I could have looked at this as well. Uh, anyways, let's keep expanding. Alright, there you go. We've got separation. Honestly, I don't know if I actually... I don't think it's that bad. Because I can really focus this, focus on this straight line. Anyway, so I'm going to play... That, because it stays for a couple of turns. Right, definitely need more mana. Uh, more money. Let's go to the graveyard and see. Oh, oh never mind. This is actually bad. Uh, yeah, just do one of with the curse. Perfect. All right, perfect. We can get this. Mm, I wonder if I want to play this though. I think it's it would be nice to have a second one. Do I get the money at the beginning of the wave or do I get it at the end of the wave? All right, I get it at the end. But I do gain money from killing enemies, so that's fine. So we'll get this. Alright, it just makes it stronger overall, that's fine. Okay, the fact that there's no turns means also that I'm not taking advantage too much of the range either. Blocking my view. It's fine though. Ooh. This is not good. Lisa does a decent amount of damage though. Doesn't level up. Pay 50 coins on advanced reacher by one wave. 15 coins and have no coins. Alright, I got a better. Arrows. Each spear tower increases all spear towers attack speed. Each spear tower increases castle ballista attack speed. We don't have spear towers, so we'll actually start. Uh, yeah, let's make it so we can buy cards for cheaper. All right, we only have spells. So let's start with this. And let's expand this way, sure. And then we'll expand this way, and hopefully we can start playing towers here, which attack both sides. So I want to have a little area with a ton of uh, towers, so I can actually make use of that spell better. But this is a good start, I guess. To build that area with towers. And you know what? I'm just gonna play place this. Why not? All right. I mean, so far so good. So far so good. I haven't. I didn't take the the upgrade that gives me visibility as to what enemies come through. 
but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, how much money? I have 35. It's not a lot, though. Do I want to go to the market? Market gives me more coins. I mean, more cards, which is not bad. I think I'd actually rather get, just get money, to be honest. Alright, so let's uh, do what we said. More cards over there. And we can still play one more. Alright, and they all fit in the area that we can use. Alright, let's so expand here. And then we can start placing cards in this area, kind of. That attack both sides. Oh, and I'm also focus, I guess, on this uh, little corner there. All right, four more waves and we're done. We say we're not doing too badly. It's nice that this one is leveling up. Gain 10 health, increase max health by 4. It doesn't really matter because I'm not going to regen. So I'm assuming this also gives me 4 health. So I would end up with 24 health. But this just gives me to 30, so I think it's it's better overall for sure. Uh, Alright. Uh, Do I care about making spells cheaper? There's a Gotchos in Graveyards, Gotchos in Forge. Not, yeah, let's just make cards cheaper. I don't care too much, but still. Uh, we'll play this because there's no reason not to. And uh, I would have loved to actually see the range, the area of that spell again. I don't have money, so let's uh, let's keep going. Which way? Uh, sure, whatever. It didn't really matter. Can I get a new hand? No. Nope. <laughs> Alright, we're getting rid of them quite nicely. Alright, this is gonna be quite a little bit of a problem. I'd love to have this spell, to be honest. Or the slow would work as well. We're struggling mostly with the yellow attack. The yellow health. Yeah, we'll see, because if we're already losing that much health this turn, this wave, I'm not sure we'll make it. That was tough. Uh, you know what? Give me the market. Crystal Tower. Blue and yellow. This is mostly blue and not yellow. Yeah, I mean, I can't I can't really afford anything. It's like you get another storm. You know what? Whatever, I need the money as well. Alright, we've got this. How is this? Alright, so we can still afford... To place a couple of towers over there. Uh, all right. Let's expand that way, I guess. And let's place another storm here, I guess. Whatever. And then in fifteen, when we get to fifteen, we can level up these guys. Uh, they also mean that they attack faster, which also means... Oh no, they do still more damage, okay. As if they attack faster, that would actually, uh, actually mean that they leveled up faster as well. Would have been quite nice. But yeah, you can see the amount of range that this has, and it's only being used this way. Would be nice if the, the, you know, the terrain kind of went this way, but uh, whatever. 
You know I'm actually gonna place that there. <laughs> you can always draw a new hand card by pressing the button above the deck. No, I cannot. I lost. All right, new character unlock of the level reached level ten. I mean level three. All right, quite interesting. Quite interesting. Starting income is doubled. Okay. Castle has ballista prevents first enemy damage. Fifty mannequin. Okay, I didn't know that. This one is interesting though. I wonder what the abilities are for this guy. Anyways, that was it. That was uh, Tower's deck. Interesting. Quite interesting. Uh, like, I compared it to that other game. I cannot recall the name right now. Uh, which was also like a deck builder Tower Defense game where the map kind of expanded. This this sim does seem like the, the, the art is a lot more interesting though. The other one was almost like a... I wouldn't say a spreadsheet, but like the... The thing was like a bit overwhelming in terms of, of the amount of like upgrades and stuff it was like a bit more streamlined decent graphics and uh yeah so far so good i wonder how far it goes to be honest but so far it looks uh, interesting i like the fact that you select heroes and that changes the upgrades and uh, the stuff you go with uh but yeah very interesting very nice and the events also spiced it up as well, quite nice, because I don't remember the other game I had. Uh, so anyways, this was Tower's deck. If you like it, you can check it out for yourself on Steam. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.